guts is turning over something rotten. <laughs> Have you got the flask? Not in here. <laughs> It's your fault. I've got no sympathy for you. Getting married gets you all right. It's ridiculous. It won't work. I can't start that again. It's too late. You've been trying to break it up for three months as it is. Melanie and I are getting married whether you like it or not. Yeah, I'll give it six months. A young girl like that. Marrying a... How old are you? <laughs> You'll be 50 when she's 30. Oh, shut up. Don't you ever give up. I've got to hand it to you, you know. Here we are, in church, five minutes to go, and you're still rabbiting away. I should have thought asking you to be the best man would have shut you up. <laughs> have you got the ring? Yes. You sure? Yes. Where is it? <laughs> Here it is. me, Yankee. Oh. Take it out of that thing. That has got to go on her finger. Put it in your pocket and don't lose it. much has it what has this place i mean in essence to put your mother away <laughs> no thing to say on my wedding day where's the church in the parish this is it suits me save your money all this posh nasty dark stuff we've been through all this before melanie wanted a white wedding white wedding yeah Starting off with a lie to begin with. What do you mean, Papa? <laughs> Look, Melanie and I are very much in love with each other, and there's nothing you can say or do is going to alter that. So you might as well just shut your cake hole and get used to the idea. <laughs> What's that old boot grizzly? <laughs> She's upset. Well, it's quite natural. It's her only daughter. Don't let that fool you. She's tickled pink. She shot her at last. <laughs> Take a good look at her, mate. Because that's what your bird's going to look like in 20 years. <laughs> that don't follow. I don't look anything like you. Don't think I haven't noticed. Many's the punch up your mother and me had over you. <laughs> that is another nice thing to say on my wedding day. <laughs> Not that I mind, Mark, you. Yeah? You're not exactly my idea of a father image. <laughs> His seats aren't half hard, are they? <laughs> no wonder people don't come to church. I should have brought me a ring. <laughs> my farmers ain't half given me chip. <laughs> Natural little romantic, aren't you? <laughs> Sit still. He won't be long. I see you're heaven. Him number 389. Fight the good fight. The good. <laughs> oh, very apt. A lifetime of punch-up stretching out in front of you. Look, you, we'll agree to every condition you've made so far. We're going to live with you. I'm going to stay in the business. We've agreed to lumber ourselves with you until the day half a dozen blokes carries you in here on their shoulders in a little box. <laughs> which may very well be in the next service if you don't shut up. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> I'm only thinking of your happiness, Harold. I don't like to see you throw yourself away like this. Throw myself away? Look, Tanhead, I'm not Sean Connery. <laughs> I'm Harold Steptoe, a 37-year-old rag and bone man. I'm very lucky to get her, Dad. I love her. This should be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> and it could be. 
If it wasn't for you sitting there pouring out your satanic little thoughts. Evil. That's what you are. Evil. All you need is a little pair of horns and you'll be set. <laughs> They're going to have to re-consecrate this place when you come. <laughs> She's late, isn't she? I bet she don't turn up. The bride has just arrived, Mr. Stepto. If you and your best man would care to take your places. Well, here we go. <laughs> Into the valley of death. <laughs> Do you want a blindfold? <laughs> Madam Jane, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou obey and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep him unto you so long as ye both shall live? No! Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Yeah, hang on, hang on. She said no! <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> Please. Melanie, my dear, you're supposed to say I will. Well, I won't. I can't marry him. Oh, I'm sorry, Harold. This is most unusual. What have you said to her? Nothing. Melanie, my baby, what's wrong? Well, nothing's wrong, Mother. I just can't do it. I've changed my mind. Oh, look, Melanie, please stop. Why <laughs> people is looking. Leave her alone. Look, can we have five minutes in the vestry? She's a bit nervous, that's all. We'll soon sort it all out. Take your hands off her. Haven't you done enough? She doesn't want to marry you. Of course, I knew it was a mistake right from the beginning. Oh, you, 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 you did. You've been trying to break it up between us for months. All I wanted was my daughter's happiness, and she wouldn't have got any with you. What's wrong with me? Well, look at yourself. I mean, what are you? A common street trader. Oh, Lizzie, oh, please keep out of this. <laughs> Shut your cake up. Oh, it's bad. How low are you? If anybody ain't marrying anybody, it's my son ain't marrying that great grizzling car to yours. Well, now you're showing yourself up for what you really are. A low class. No, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 